so this is the you know elephant in the room the million dollar question that you call the cliche if we have uh, to describe what uh, the rich cities are facing how do you take all these people and you you know how do you make them learn english or french or whatever the language is of uh, uh, the city that they come to now european cities and north american cities i think are taking uh, different tacks so in amsterdam in berlin there's much more resistance <coughs> to this kind of uh, cultural heterogeneity <coughs> um it's much easier to be um uh, arab in new york than it is to be uh, arab in amsterdam um even though uh, uh, as a country the united states seems to be increasingly anti arab um but new york city um has so many people from so many places that it's impossible to scapegoat any one population um and as i <coughs> go around among the uh, these immigrants i find that so i grew up in a building in jackson heights um uh, filled with people from all over the world but it wasn't a melting pot we didn't really melt into each other we kept our own uh, languages our cuisines our uh, ways of dressing and we uh, politely intermingle with one another um uh, there were indians and pakistanis um, iranians and iraqis uh, jews and muslims all people who were killing each other just before they got on the plane to come to america so what happens when they come to new york there's some kind of suspension of hostilities it's not that all these people start loving each other but they agree uh, to uh, live together and to work and raise their children and it's in the second generation the children that go to these schools that there is this possibility of um some kind of uh civic identity that is these children can think of themselves as new yorkers um but it's going to be a much more elastic identity that is these i think it it's will have to be acceptable for the children uh to not be american in the sense that immigrants in the 20th century uh were americans that these children now are going to be much more global uh they're going to go back to the country of their parents uh, birth and they're going to go to a third and a fourth countries um uh, but one thing i can predict with some certainty that these children will not be going to the villages or the suburbs they'll be going from city to city